welcome to late to the show i'm your host prophet 74 model a 27 inch model it's a v7 verse series led and we're going to take a look at it maximum resolution on this one is 26 2560 by 1440 so it's 75 megahertz on this one we're going to take a look at it see what's under the hood and um see what you get when you purchase like this if it's even worth it right now currently it's on sale so you could get it pretty cheap under 200 bucks in some places so let's look it up and see what we can get all right let's commence with the actual machine itself let's see how big it is and how wide it is so if you guys notice the vessel it's <laughs> it's it's centimeters i don't think it's even possible it's like thin really thin lines so, up uh this is not the case all the time so you got to turn it on sometimes there's another embedded version of it so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that part of it but if you notice the top there is none on the top too also too the only thing you get the strip in the bottom here and that's about that's about an inch an inch that's pretty much what it is an inch um we're going to turn it around while we have it in this case and we're going to talk about the case the system itself uh led it's built in led formats all right let's take a look at the back and right now turn off all the lights i'm getting natural light in here so you guys won't see any reflection uh the back is one of the best things i like about all the time when i look at them um to see how easy the buttons are to access if you guys see the buttons here i'm gonna i'm gonna zoom in, in a bit right now but first let's talk about the back end they give you the mounting area so you can mount this on a, on a rack on a on a hand mount really like this fun function so let's go ahead and zoom into the button all right so let's talk about the buttons power button on top no listed on what what these buttons are for uh i like the little knob up and down and left i like the little remote control that they have here little remote because it kind of feels like a remote control pretty much it's a it's a rotation part i like that part um this is a you could click down on it wow you click on it so i don't like that they don't list anything on the buttons and i don't like them in the back um uh, because sometimes it's a little difficult to find out which button you're actually clicking on you might switch monitors and i had issues where I actually split the screen or picture in picture so i prefer the buttons in the front my personal uh, opinion but you could do whatever you want when you purchase something like this now the buttons are simple to access when you're flipping your hand right behind it um this is a, probably a, a little plus i like this to to actually go up and down the screen and click on it instead of you know finding the right button to go up and down so we're going to take a look at that option too so we're going to take a look at that part so let's go ahead and continue with the the, the machine all right right here if you guys can see it power cord connects to here regular basic power cord now we're going to flip it over to this side here we have we're going to start with the hdmi 1 hdmi 2 display port and then we have an audio jack 3.5 in here you could plug in your headsets and we're going to see if it has built-in speakers because i do see speakers in here so we're going to go ahead and test that out so if it's even worth buying something like this so if you want to make it like a an external tv you could probably do that so we're going to test it out first see if that's the case all right they also give you a display cable for that of course um, the neck itself it's very important to have of course we're going to put it flat face flat um the warranty information and the manual of course how to reset it factory warrant uh, factory reset it's a very very important uh and then the base itself the base is not that heavy um there is a metal uh, aluminum base on the bottom underneath of it but the top of it's plastic and then of course the power so not that bad these are the services right that you when you purchase it this is all it comes with they don't give you an hdmi cable they actually just give you the display port because uh this is kind of the new norm now what's going in the market with all the all the uh, vga cards having mostly display ports and now they're starting to have the c c type c connection so we're going to see that in the next versions of machines that are coming out probably around this in the middle of this year so stick around all right, so today we're gonna play a video from YouTube. It's a 4K video, but this is not a 4K monitor. So just to let you know, we're gonna see how qu the quality of it looks. So right now I'm using the external camera so you guys could capture, so I could capture some of the stuff. So let's go ahead and play the footage and see how well it works with it. So let me find my mouse, I'm gonna push play. And so far, it's pretty crisp. I could actually see it pretty good. Um, penguin lighting looks great. We're gonna go ahead and mess some functions while we're doing this. So let's go ahead and do that. So in the back of the buttons, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the menu button, and you can navigate here, uh, modes um, button on the top modes. We're gonna go modes, and here you get to use the eco-friendly graphics, movies, 
well, I like the graphics actually. It's a little brighter. And then dark room. If you guys see the changes, reading, and then RGB, S RGB, and then user. You could change it to modify whatever you want. Uh, I like the movie style. I like the graphics. We're gonna stick to graphics. We're gonna go back to menu again and see what other options. Brightness and input. And then the last one should be a menu. So let's go to menu, input, um, source. We're not gonna change um, input is DPI in. Right now we have uh, display port in. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go into, that's it. That's pretty much what you get, those two modes. So we're gonna go exit and it gives you arrows where to how to navigate. So, but you have to hit the actual button. All right, so we're gonna go into inputs again and see if we could see the audio in here and unfortunately i don't see it here so it might be an external part of it so let's go ahead and exit this thing out and if i click on it there's another if i click on the actual button itself the the little knob i'm able to control more and it gives you more so audio is on right now um and, and it tells you mute is off right now so performance we're at normal um adaptive sync is on Refresh red is off, OSD options, and then the system. This is where you actually go into do the factory reset. So it's not that bad. I like it. I like it all around. We're gonna go ahead and stop this and then we're gonna go review a video that I created. Okay. Pretty loud. I like it. it sounds like a mono, it doesn't Welcome sound stereotype. I'm your host, Prophet Sydney Sounds pretty good. Today I'm gonna bring another little video regarding the camera. Yeah, I'm putting the mic a little camera. closer. So if you guys like what you see, make sure you to subscribe to like the show. Not that bad. I like how it sounds. Gives you good um, options. Notice, there's different colors on these, and I'm gonna put this in 4K if it's possible. Uh, yeah, good options. Good options. Off. I like the audio. I like the external speaker. That's a plus. I like that. Especially if you're gonna do training now these days, if you wanna play video games, right. maybe connect your PS4 so or your Xbox, you're gonna be able to do uh, that. Start with the cheapest one. Go ahead, let's go ahead and do another test and come back right now with another review, a different model, a different test. All right, this is a test I currently um, do a testing model of all my monitors that I purchase now these days. Um, this tells you how much lag it has and how many megahertz it's actually the, the system is running. Now, just to keep in mind, you can hack these monitors and add some more megahertz so you can see less of a lag or less of the blurness. You can do that, but it's not recommended. It overheats and it's not made for those these systems itself. So do it on your own this screen or uh, I wouldn't do anything to begin with, to be honest with you. So we're going to go ahead and do another different type of test. So right now it's syncing. It's doing the tests right now. If you can see it, it's at 60 frames per second, 60 megahertz, uh, 16 pixel per frame. And we're at 960. Let's go ahead and bust it up to we're going to go turn it up to a little higher. We're going to go to the actual 2880. And you can see, let's go ahead and make it larger so you can see more of the input. This is at 2880. We're running at 2880 right now. And the blurriness is there. You can see some of the stuff. You can't really tell the actual figure. If you can see the alien right there, I'm going to point at one of them. And if you can see, this kind of makes people dizzy sometimes. So the test is not always the best test, but it's best if you play some games and you can see what's under the hood on the games. Or also do a three-dimensional program, see if it runs really good, how well it cuts the little lines on the character. So we're going to do that too. Okay, today we're going to do a PUBG test. And we're going to run it from this monitor and see how well it works. So it's going to zoom in and out because I'm using an external camera. But here we go. We're going to go ahead and test it out, see how well it works. And so far... The image, the quality of it looks really sharp. All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and play the game. The audio's a little loud, so we're gonna go ahead and play with the audio too. So let's go ahead and get started and see where we can do. We're gonna do a not a game. We're just gonna do the practice mode.
gonna rumble your ass. Destroy you. Well, if you guys like this monitor, it's a pretty good, decent deal for the monitor, to be honest with you. And if you guys like stuff like this, let me know. I'm your host, Prophet City 4. We are out.